and the sun moves into cancer. The cancer or the sun is okay in this. It's do, it does not have its full energy. It's rules. It actually is exalted in Aries and, and likes it in Leo and all of those hotter signs where the moon is more cooler. So the sun is not as comfortable in this sign as it has been. Well, this is the ingress of the sun into Cancer. It's the longest day of the year over there. It's our shortest day down in the Southern Hemisphere. So just before, well, just as we get the sun ingressing or moving into Cancer, it's the longest day. But this is in the Northern Hemisphere, the maximum amount of light you will get. From this day forward, it will start to decrease each day. It will still be more light than dark up there until we get to the Libra, must be. But this is, you've reached your zenith sort of thing here. Whereas in the Southern Hemisphere, we're reaching our Nada, I think it's pronounced, our lowest point. Our, we so. have had the maximum amount of dark during the day. And um, from this point on, it will start to get a little bit lighter. You know, the sun will rise a little bit earlier and set a little bit later. So, yeah, this is um, one of our solstices it's the uh summer solstice over there our winter solstice here but yeah wherever the sun is uh does shine a light in your natal chart so wherever cancer is in your natal chart you know there will be a focus over the next month or so on those people those topics generally speaking i mean there's all these other planets that are also kind of looking for attention but the sun is, you know, such a big visible part of our universe from our perspective on Earth. You know, it kind of illuminates things. So it's just focusing when it's in that house on those people and those topics. Very nice. And as, as I always say, every time a planet or a luminary moves into a new sign, especially the sun, you know, it, it's a good day to journal because it can be impactful.